Okay, so this is a game that exists. So yeah, yeah welcome back to uh, Mario Land, everyone. Now we're playing uh, the sequel, um, Mario Land 26 Golden Coins. And like last time, I have no experience with this, so uh, this will be interesting. I like the fact that immediately right away, one of my biggest issues with the original Mario Land was the fact that the sprites were too small, so it was kind of hard for me to like land on some enemies uh, at times. But now we're we're at like sprite size that you see in like this NES game, so that already is a big improvement. And it's very Mario Land uh, Mario Worldish with um, a lot of these like blocks and whatnot. Oh god, that that was just embarrassing. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I don't know exactly how this is going to uh, go. I know that this game is longer overall. I I think there's like... I assume there's like seven worlds. Like there's obviously the six the... Because, you know, six golden coins. And then the final level. I assume that's how this works. And something that's unique to this game, I think. I don't know if any other Mario game does this. But you get to choose the worlds you go to. You don't have like a set order anything like usual which is pretty cool and I don't know if there's a spin jump oh there is okay because okay so since there's only so many buttons on the controller you have to you have to like hold down and then press jump which is kind of weird it doesn't exactly feel the greatest but yeah there's only so many buttons on the GB on the Game Boy so they had to compromise I guess I didn't even know the spin jump was in this game, so that's kind of cool. And it do definitely feels a bit better to control. Wait, oops. <laughs> the physics definitely feel more like they should, as opposed to Mario Land 1, where they were a little bit stiff, I guess. So that's nice. And there's a different minigame here. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. That's fine. Cray machine that reminds me of, like, uh, what was it? Link's Awakening, I guess? <laughs> so yeah, we can just go to any world we want, really. Just go to tree, tree zone, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, there's also a, f a few secret exits as well, and I don't know... Well, I, I've written down where, like, what levels they're in, but I don't know how you access them, so we'll kind of just figure that out as, as we go here. And, um, yeah. See how things progress. But yeah, I just love how weird this is. Like, the, like, level select is completely, diff completely different from, like, any other 2D Mario game. Like, I know Mario 3 has... Like, you can choose some different levels. Like, you don't have to play all the levels in that game. You can, like, pick a certain route and go f go through that. And you can also, like, use the warp whistle if you want to, like, skip worlds and whatnot. But this, this is, um, like, being able to choose any world, like, in any order, is kind of unprecedented for Mario, just in general. Like, you don't really get this too often. Can I get out of here? <laughs> Just jump up here, okay. Like, I guess the 3D games let you choose your levels quite quite a lot, but the thing is with that, like, they tend to still have levels in, like, chunks, if you will. Like, mainly in, like, the Galaxy games, you still have, like, your worlds and whatnot, and you need to, like, clear all, the, all of them before going on to the next set. Well, you don't need to clip all of them, but like you need to at least get enough stars to move on, I mean. And then I guess Sunshine you can kind of choose, like, sort of the levels in your own order. To a degree, there's some, like, there's, like, you can't, you can't just do anything. Like, you do need to get enough shines in levels before you can access the next one and all that stuff, but, you know. Okay, so I want... I'd like to get the uh, the one up, 
So this will go like do, 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 do. I think, yeah, this, I think this will do, do it. This do it. Ugh. Actually, no, it won't. <laughs> I, I didn't look at it right. Damn it. That's fine. So apparently there's a secret exit here, so I'll... I'll play the level normally first, and then we'll worry about... Oh, okay, I thought this stuff damaged me. <laughs> and then we'll, like, try and figure out where to go. But yeah, going back to whole like the whole, like, this game being weird thing, I just love how both this and Land 1 has, like, so many weird ideas for 2D Mario. Like, this game especially, like, there's a bunch of world themes that aren't really tried much, if at all, in e any of the other games. Like, tree, tree zone is pretty self-explanatory, like, this is stuff, like, a tree level isn't anything too special. But then you have stuff like Robot Mario <laughs> World and Spaceland, I guess, and, uh, what is it? Then you have... I don't know, I don't know the, um worlds in this game off memory, but it's just, I just love how these two games, like, try try to be weird and unique and I would like to see that more from, from 2D Mario games. I'll definitely have a lot more to say about that stuff when we, when we play New Mario 2 because that will be happening not soon because Galaxy's next and that game is going to take a fair bit, but <laughs> it, it will have it will be happening this year, ideally. So <laughs> yeah, we'll talk more about it then. Good. And weird, like I know other ge I know I've played other games with gimmicks like this, where you like jump on these weird gooey platforms, which is yeah, that's a thing. Gonna get that. Also, one thing I found out about Mario Land One is, um, like, Sarasa Land is actually in. What was it? It's the whole idea is that it's ba there's like a bunch of different kingdoms. Like each world in that is a different kingdom, and they're all based on like real real world, uh, like uh, not area, n not like real world areas like say unleashed or anything like that but they're, they're based on re like real world kind of like cultures i guess <laughs> like you have like easter like the easter island stuff and the last world is based in china not japan like i thought it, i get the two confused a lot <laughs> and um yeah i don't know i think that's kind of i think that's pretty cool Okay, can we get some lives? Oh, dude, that's so tight. Yeah, so I think the- I guess there's only two power-ups in this. There's the carrot which gives you bunny ears, I think, that lets you just glide around. I think. <laughs> so we'll try- we'll try and find the secret exit, I guess. I- I'm not really sure where I'm supposed to look. I have one idea where it could be, but if it's not there, then I have no idea. I hope, hope they aren't too hidden, because I don't want to be looking around all day. I'm not really sure how well the game telegraphs this stuff either. So... Also, I, I also looked this up as well, like, you don't actually get 1-ups from getting 100 coins in this game, which is really bizarre. <laughs> like, I can't think of many other Mario games that does that. But yeah, there's, there's apparently like a shop that you can use to buy power-ups and one-ups and whatnot, so I guess we'll be checking that out at some point. If, I guess if we need to. And we already have like eight lives and we're only playing like a few stages, so I can't imagine it'll be too bad, but yeah, if we need, if we, we need to stock up on lives, I guess that'll be good. And if there's only one shop, then we can use that to just get the specific power-up we need, and it'll be all hunky-dory. 
That's also something that, like, was it like the new Super Mario Bros. games have sometimes, where if you need a certain certain power up, sometimes you might have already used up the mushroom houses, and that can be annoying. Because then, like, you have to rely on stages to get the items you need, and that can get pretty frustrating. But I haven't... Oh god. Uh... Okay, this has to be a secret exit. Oh. Alright. As long as we don't die... We should be good. Yeah. Was that just... Can't tell if this is the exit we already went through? <laughs> or what? I guess we'll find out now. Nice. I probably should have gone for a power-up, but I like having a lot of lives. No? Where the hell? Okay. So I think I know where it is. Let me... I think this is... Is this a shop? Yep. Okay, so... How does this work? Do I... Oh. Okay, I want the uh, rabbit. I want the carrot. That's also f fine. What is it? What? Oh, okay, so I, I see, I see. That's fine. I do want the carrot though. I assume this is just... You get more lives as you land on that. Okay. Well, that's what I wanted. So I need to... Now I need to just not get hit, which hopefully won't be too bad. Yeah, if I want to, I can just go to a different world and not worry about this right now. But now I need to try and... Now I need to uh, find a secret exit. Like... Personal now. <laughs> it's kind of weird, like, this flowing is weird because, like, you just have to hold the button, like, can it? But I can just keep tapping it, but, like, you can just, you just press it again and just hold it. You do need to, I found out the hard way that you do need to press it again if you bounce on an enemy, though, because otherwise you just fall like an idiot, which, yeah, that's happened to me, so. Yeah, I need to keep that in mind, and also make sure I don't fall into spikes like last time, because that did happen earlier. Okay. So... It's coming up, I want to say. It's an... I think it's the... Yeah, it's this. Okay, I'll get rid of you. Nope! <laughs> okay, that was almost really bad. This has to be it. Or is this just another shortcut? No, this is... Okay, that's what we wanted. Cool. Okay, so I can cross that off the list. Yeah, I, yeah, again, I have a thing. I have a notepad document. So I can remember if I've done, like, a, done a secret exit and where the levels are that have them. I'm gonna try my best not to look them up if I can help it. If if I get stuck for at like forever, I might just have to say screw it and look them up. But I I prefer not to. But yeah, I don't. I do need to um, actually progress. I don't. I can't just stick around in one level for too long. Yeah. I do like how we have regular Coopers. You know those weird blowing up ones. I wonder what a lot of the enemies would have looked like in Mario Land 1 if they had, like, proper sprite size like this. Can I throw up? No. Why is- why is Mario World the only game that lets you throw shells up? 
Like, I think that, let, that allows for a lot more, well not, may, maybe not a lot more, but it allows for some more, like, level design ideas than if you just, were just able to, like, throw them forwards, like in every other game, like, I don't know what, I feel like throwing Cooper Shells up should have just rem remained a staple. Weird. Oh well. I like this though, just platforming up a tree. It's good stuff. Don't know if it's just me, but I feel like this game's a lot tamer so far in terms of difficulty. I, again, Mario Land 1 was a short game, and I feel like the fact that it's, it's short made it so... Like, it, it made it feel easier than it actually was. Because I did die a fair bit, but it was also still only four worlds, with only three levels in each. So, even though I did die quite a fair bit, I still beat the game with a good amount of lives. Whereas, so far, like, like I, know, I know we've only played one world, but so far this feels quite a bit tamer. I don't know. Maybe, maybe things will change, but I feel like it's also... Th there's also the fact that you can play any world in any order, so... They kind of have to make things, like, makes, not makes, what am I trying to say? They kind of have to, like, make things balanced so no matter what area you- <laughs> What the hell? <gasps> okay, I guess the game didn't like the fact that I was calling it easy. <laughs> but yeah, the, I guess since you can go to any world, they had to, like, Compensate for that. So I, I guess similar to like Mega Man, for instance. We're, but the difference there is that Mega Man games are difficult and they have to. You, you, I'm stumbling on my words a lot today, I apologize. Like, Mega Man games tend to be pretty difficult. And uh, even though you can play all eight stages in any order, they're all still gonna challenge you some games more than others, and then there are Mario games which aren't, partic aren't known for being super, like, crazy difficult, so they can't go too mad, but I, I do also feel like, as much as I was kind of praising it earlier, I, li I like how this is one of the only Mario games that does have this system where you can go to any world you want, I do feel like it also hinders the game, in the sense that like, you, you can't really have the the levels build up in difficulty because of that. Um, and yeah, gen generally I prefer just having a straight level to level progression because then it just feels the most natural in terms of having a difficulty curve. That's kind of why I actually kind of like Crash One and Crash Four's level pro progression more than Crash Two and Two and Three. Because they can, like, build up the difficulty more naturally. Oh, okay, just get nothing. <laughs> That's fine. And then there's this level. Okay. There's also, like, normal, we have level choices between, like, two, two levels for a branching path, which is pretty standard. So, it's a nice B le beehive, beehive level, like DKC2, and one level in Tropical Freeze. Still don't know why they don't have zingers in that stage, but that's a story for another time. No, oh, okay. I guess I can't kill those. Or unless I just missed. But I'm just, yeah, I'm just gonna avoid them. I'm not really sure. Oh, oops. <laughs> I'm not really sure how how much like longer this game is. I can't imagine it's that much longer. The long plays I looked up uh, just had it like a little over an hour and thirty minutes, which is about an hour longer than the original, which is still longer, but still not a lot. It's 
So I don't know how long this is gonna be. Ha. <laughs> I still... I, I mean, I did... I did decide to do these because I expected them to be short, so... And that's also why Scrappy and Jason aren't here. Because, <laughs> yeah, they've been in a lot of playthroughs. And they were in the Mario Wii LP. They're gonna be in Galaxy. I At least Scrappy is gonna be. I don't know if Jason's gonna join us for that. We'll figure things out in the... In the um, I'll, I'll, I'll figure things out about, about that. But we shall see. I guess I just can't kill any, any of these guys. It's fine. Also, like how there's a like a death counter for the enemies. Oh, hey. No, we're not getting a one up. Okay, <laughs> that's something I'd, I'd expect in like a Mario Maker. Like, can I jump up on the platforms, please? Sponge up is nice to have. I, I do like that at least that became a staple. Well, I don't know if staple is the right word, but they did use it in a lot of the new Super Mario Bros. games at least. How do I get... Okay, screw it. I don't know if they're in all of them. I don't remember it being in DS. I know it's in Wii and U. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was going to say, how am I supposed to like get past this? Power Goombas? Yeah, enemies are a bit more... Like... Normal, I guess. You don't have like the weird Easter Island heads. There's some weird stuff like this, though. Oh, no, it's just an owl. It looked weird of the face. Um. Yeah, come on, like, why... I know I keep going on about it, like, it's a tired complaint, I know, but... Yeah, why can't we have, like, stuff like this in the New Super Mario series? Like, why does it always have to be the same tired, like, eight world... Eight, like, world tropes? Now, after a point, it just felt like they were making the new Super Mario, new Super Mario Bros. games for the sake of it. And I know they sell well, like, they're good games, don't get me wrong, but... But they got so stale. And I still like them, don't get me... Again, they're good games. I'm not gonna say they're not, but... There's a reason why, like, people make fun of them so much. And, you know, good. <laughs> and, you know, criticizing criticizing games can be a good thing. I'm not saying be a dick about it, but... Having good criticism can lead to better, better future products. Like, everyone, everyone pretty much complained about Mario being, like, kind of stale for a few years. Well, a lot longer than, than a few, few years, but... My ad, but should I do this? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, there was just a time period where Mary games just got so sick. I don't know if I'd say samey necessarily, but they got very safe. It didn't feel like they were like really trying to any too many like interesting things at all, and it felt like ev it felt like. They were all kind of just going into an NSMB curse in the sense of like every every game is just going to be really safe and generic, fun but generic, and they weren't really going to try anything daring again like they usually like they did before. And then we got stuff like Odyssey and like Maritennis Aces tries like some interesting things. There's okay. What, what games came out, like, 
Odyssey is the main one. Like, that's the main thing that's like... Okay, we're gonna see, like, some creative stuff from Mar uh, M the Mario series again. And... Yeah. There was just a long time period where... It felt like we're, it was just gonna be super safe forever, which... I'm glad that wasn't the case. So... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm. Alright, so how does this work? Just jump on you? Timing. Yep. It's weird. Word bird. Oh, good. At least this isn't like an actual boss, though. Like, Maryland 1. Dude, I'm not gonna die to this guy. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna stay over here. There we go. Yeah, at least that was an actual boss, though. Um, there was. So Tonga in the first game that wasn't that was like a proper, proper boss, but most of the time in these in these games you can just barely you can barely even like call the call these guys bosses because you just I don't know you don't really fight them head on. Okay, so what is this? Oh, okay. What's to do with this? It's just like a random level in the hub. Is, is this necessary? Do I need to do this? I guess we'll find out. I mean, you know, you, you should know by now that I, I don't really enjoy auto scrollers. But if it's not too long, then I guess it's fine, but good. No! Okay, that's fine. I, I keep expecting it to go to a different song. I like I don't I don't know what I'm expecting specifically. Like There's a song that is like off the top of my head, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's just I'm not really sure there's there's a point to this. Very basic. <laughs> I feel like this is just a random thing. Because like, again, it's just a random level in the hub, so I can't imagine this is like necessary. It might be. I could be wrong. I have no idea. Do 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 do. Get power ups, I guess. So that's nice. It's just a random extra level. What the, what happened to Mario's face? Okay, I guess that's a thing. Sure. Hippo land. What? What is this? God, this game is so weird. What's going on here? Okay. Does this bubble go- I, I assume this bubble just stays with us forever? Man. Sure. Secret. I do like the- the-, the oh, how do I- What is this? Is this Mario Maker? I like how I call like any weird design Mario Maker, but it's easy. What was that? Oh, it's just a bunch of coins, I guess. It's a uh, easy low hanging fruit, so yeah, just roll with it. Mm -hmm. 
This game doesn't have a lot of music, I've noticed. <laughs> Can I just... I mean, neither did Maryland 1, I guess. Yeah, it's just been kind of... Hi, Gordo. <laughs> I didn't know it was you. Yeah, they've kind of been using the same theme over and over, which... I guess Mar Mario World also did this with, like... Uh, a bunch of different variations of said theme, which... Yeah, I mean, fair enough. But... You know, this is just the same exact theme. This is fu this is a decent, this is a decent theme. It will probably grow on me over time, but it's de I definitely, so far anyway, I'd say that the first game had the stronger soundtrack. Especially, I just mainly love the um, like castle theme, or whatever you want to call it, like. Do, 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 do. Like, that's just so cool. I, I just love that theme so much. It'd be hard to hard to top that for this for this game. No, it's like Mario's face just went like that. <laughs> I don't know that I don't know if that's an emulator issue or what. Oh, that's just to that was just to like go to here, I guess. Okay. Interesting. What's this? Macro zone. Okay, so... Screw it, I guess we're doing this now. <laughs> I don't know, I'm kind of just rolling with it. I don't... Again, I don't know this game well at all. So, I'm just kind of... Doing whatever. <laughs> so... Wait, is that thing up there? I wouldn't even be able to get up there, even with the... With the, um... With the carrot, so... I guess not. But yeah, apparently there is a secret exit here, so... We'll be looking out for that after we finish the level normally. That'll be... All... All good. Yeah, my only real issue with this is, is the fact that... I feel like it would be more interesting if there was a bit more challenge. Because again, I feel like the first game was harder. Oh, that was, that was funky. I I wouldn't say, I wouldn't necessarily say this is like brain dead. But I feel like they could have, oh good. I say that and I just make stupid mistakes like that, good. Ignore me. <laughs> That's more, more of the story, just ignore me. But yeah, still, I, I, I just, yeah. I just uh, would have would have liked a bit more challenge. That's all. That's all really. Especially when the f when the first game balanced that pretty well, in my opinion. It's fine. Maybe it's the fact that I can see more like clearly. Like, that might have something to do with it, but I don't know. I don't think that is like the only reason. I just generally generally feel like this is easier. Not that I'm annoyed. Not that I'm not enjoying it though. Still a fun time. And why? Why'd you do this? Why'd you torment me so? Okay, this is why are we Okay. Oh Nice. So, I guess we just try and ignore that block? That, that was probably the secret exit now that I think about it. Because like, since, since we had to use the fire flower to access that, like, I'm fairly... I'm fairly certain that was a secret exit. So, I am gonna ignore that. And go up here. We'll come back there later. The thing to keep in mind. If that is wh where it is, then that'd be good because then we don't have to. Oh, that's the end anyway. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that has to be it. Damn it, dude. I'm so bad at this. That's cool. So we're just kind of. Yeah, there's nothing up there. Or is there? Come on, let's just... 
Double check. Yeah, nah. Unless I, like, bounced off that enemy, maybe, but... Yeah. At most, I'll just be like, maybe there'll be a secret one-up, but... I don't really need that. So it's all good. This is a different track, I just noticed. It's cool. You gotta love those, like, old, like, Game Boy soundtracks. I love how like composers had to like work with like weird chip tune stuff and uh and I work with these really like really old consoles and try to make something like some sat like something out of it that vaguely kind of resembles music. Alright, so we'll go down here and then hopefully we we'll, we won't screw ourselves over. I do like that they, like, have actually- I do like that they actually actually have secret exits in this one. Because obviously the first game couldn't really do that. So, that's, that's nice. Okay, so... Make sure the other block doesn't appear. I should just run. And get hit. Nice. Okay, well, at least I know what to do now. That was just... That was just really careless on my part. I appreciate the lives, but that's not the s oh god. Are you gonna have to be looking around? Was it actually at the start and I, I just thought there was nothing there? Is that what this is? Damn it, dude. I thought for sure that would have been the exit. Apparently I'm wrong. Oh, okay. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> Careful now. Oh, I see that up there. Okay. Okay. We found it! No! Oh, you jerk. No. Sadness. Yep. Okay. Well, we found it by complete accident, so that's good. So we can- we can- we can do this. I do like the fact that I can get the uh, bunny ears without having a mushroom. Sandy. God, it's so weird that you don't get lies from 100 coins. Like... Yeah. <laughs> when, you, when you play so many Mario games that work a certain way, it just doesn't feel right when they do something different. Okay, I'm gonna have to go down here for... Fire flower. So good. That's not good. Yep. Yeah, that jerk. Hit him! Block! Okay, I'm just making dumb mistakes at this, at this point. That's one thing I, I just thought of. Um, that's one thing I really don't like about like, 2D Mario games, is that 
they feel the need to like like beat you out into the the world map and then you have to like what like to, like go back into the level i know i know it sounds like a woe is me like first world problems complaint but for them well sure i guess it, to, it, to some degree it is but when you get to when you play harder levels and you have had to have that ha happen constantly like 9 7 in mario wii i would have preferred if you if you could just die and then just respawn at like the last checkpoint or whatever and they the easy fix to like oh how are you gonna like let you put like use items or whatever in, uh, in the world map before you go back to, into the level my easy fix for that would just be allow you to just press plus or something as you're loading back in and then you have the items like item screen show up and then voila easy fix <laughs> So yeah, there we go. Yeah, why, why does it? Why does Mario just kind of glitch out? <laughs> it's funky. Great, another auto scroller. My favorite. That's all good. I'm not really sure. Like, I know. Okay, so I guess I I should have. I should probably should have like talked about this earlier, but I believe the idea of this or like the story of this game is like Mario found like bought a castle or something like that, and he's like, "Oh yay, look at this! I have a castle, Luigi! Wow!" I don't know if Luigi's that good. I don't know if Luigi's actually in this game. I don't think he is, but yeah, that that's a thing that happened. And then Wario's is like. Wham, I'm a new character I'm a new character and I'm gonna steal your castle, Mario, because screw you, I like money. And uh Mario's like, oh no, why why you do this? And then we're going to get six golden coins to have access to Mario's castle or some crap. And then Wario will have his own series which will eventually like stop. <laughs> like the Wario Land series will kinda of just stop after a while. Um, and then Mario will kind of just get destroyed by by some blocks because the side air just decided to say no. That's enough. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Damn it! But yeah, just like like I like I like how this like I just I like how this little sub-series started like a whole like a, a whole like series for Wario like there's War Mario Land 3 which is basically just Mario La uh, words there's Mario Land 3 which is basically just Wario Land 1 and then that just started a whole series and then like was it I think there's like five Wario Land games maybe there's one there's one, two, three, and four, and shake it, and then I think after that they just kind of stopped. A new game would be nice. I'm not like the, I'm not like a crazy fan of, of those games. I've only played Shaker, which is a pretty good game. I know four is like considered one like a fan favorite, so I'd like to at least play that someday. Can I get down here, please? Nice. And. And then there's uh, the WarioWare series, which evidently seems to be much more of a success because that's still going strong today. Like smooth moves, I is I think the no 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 that that's a lie. I was gonna say it's the only one I played, but oh why? I was gonna say it's the only one I played, but I also I've also played WarioWare snapped on the, the freaking DSi, which is a pretty bad game. I mean, it's inoffensive, but it's, in terms of, like, for WarioWare standards, it's pretty miserable. <laughs> it's a fun novelty, novelty, I guess, but, yeah, not much to write, write home about. But yeah, I, I play, mainly played Smooth Moves at, like, 
friend friends houses and whatnot i've never actually owned the game myself but it's a pretty fun game and um i do own the new one but i've haven't i haven't actually played that yet but i i i remember remember hearing decent things about it i mainly heard like i do remember like when warioware gold came out for the 3ds like that was a really popular one had like i think it was like like a best of kind of game. Oh, dude. Uh. Okay, I will give it this. I'll, I'll give this level this. It did give me some more difficulty. So I, I appreciate that. Okay, I need to cross that secret exit of the list so I don't forget. But we'll go down to clear out the rest of the regular levels. Now, I'll just say this now, I don't really plan on doing anything content-wise for WarioWare. Wario, uh, I might... I might LP shake it. Like, I, I know I recorded like a Siege run for that, so that will happen in 10 years' time. But for my own channel, I don't plan on doing anything with that series, but... Never say never, I guess. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, I don't really plan on doing anything with, like, WarioWare either. Like, maybe I'll, like, maybe I'll stream, like, stream the, like, the Switch one or something at some point, just for fun. I don't expect to do, like, a whole series or anything like that, just ran a random one-off stream. And I might come back to it again if I feel like it, but... Yeah, don't, I wouldn't count on it. I like that. I like the fact that I can move the camera. It's very nice. Because I know, like, 2D games sometimes, like, take a while before it shifts the uh, camera, view, camera view, like, moving up and down, which isn't... That can be annoying, when you just want to get a move on. But, yeah. Nice. Getting the lives I lost in the last level. Doo -doo. Okay, those. Yeah, these guys are weird. Don't know if I can. I don't know if I can actually kill them. I assume I can. Well, if I, if I had a fire flower, that would be easy. But they don't really seem to be much of a threat. So I'll just leave them be. Okay, let's actually look at this correctly. That'll go like that. Do, do, do. Okay, that'll give me the carrot. Do, 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 do. That'll get the mushroom. I think this is correct. No, I looked at it wrong again. <laughs> I'm stupid. Uh, well, that's fine. I... I... That's fine. 